So in the previous video, we looked at reversible processes. What are reversible processes? Uh, what make processes irreversible? In other words, what are some of the common irreversibilities and why they occur, right? And then we said no process is really reversible and every process, every real process that occurs in nature as well as in engineering devices are all irreversible processes, right? So then uh, one might ask what is the real purpose in studying reversible processes if no process is reversible? And uh, one way around it is still uh, to still study reversible processes, but to define something called an internally reversible process. And that is what we will do in this video. We will look at how we define an internally reversible process and we will see how that is useful in analyzing real engineering systems. So, uh, an in So, an internally reversible process is a process in which no irreversibilities occur inside the boundaries of the system. So, although there are irreversibilities in the process, those irreversibilities are not occurring inside the boundary of the system, right? In other words, all the irreversibilities are occurring outside the boundary of the system, right? So, how can, uh, let us see an example. So, let us say I have a piston cylinder device, right? And uh, that of obviously, because the piston needs to be gas tight, there is a normal reaction uh, between the piston and the cylinder because it is a press fit, right? It is a tight fit and so there is a normal reaction and when there is a normal reaction, you expect that there will be friction, right? So, there is friction between the piston and the cylinder, but if I define uh, my system uh, like the dashed line here, and uh, Supposing that I am able to extract uh, heat or supply heat to the system without any temperature gradients within the system, right? So, maybe uh, this uh, has a metal wall and this metal wall uh, and suppose I am heating the external metal wall, right? So, there is a temperature difference between this point and this point. So, which means that the metal wall has a temperature gradient. It is a finite temperature difference, right? But um, as far as my system is concerned, at no point is the temperature different at any point in the system. So, which means there is um, temperature uniformity within the system at all points. If I am able to achieve that and because the friction is also outside the system, right? So, friction is between the piston and the cylinder, which is outside the system as it is defined here, right? So, if I am able to over uh, avoid friction, avoid temperature gradients and avoid unrestrained expansion within the system, that is within the boundary of the system there are no irregularities, uh, irreversibilities, then I can have an internally reversible process, right? So, what is the big advantage of having or defining an internally reversible process? The big advantage is that I can plot it on a 2D graph between two inter intensive variables, property 1 and property 2, right? So, I can plot this on some kind of graph, right? I can plot processes between 1 and 2, between 1 and 3 or between 3 and 2, right? So, I can plot all kinds of processes because the system is undergoing a quasi equilibrium process and so, at all points during the process, the state is well defined and there are no temperature gradients, there is no friction, there is no unrestrained expansion within the system. And so, therefore, uh, it is very useful to define an internally reversible process, right? Now, unlike a reversible process, which is, which is impossible to achieve, an internally reversible process is very much possible to achieve, right? And many processes that occur both in nature as well as in engineering devices are in fact internally reversible. 
Now, most processes are not, but some are. And so, internally reversible process is not a theoretical idea, it is a practical possibility. And uh, so, it is very useful to compare our devices to some things that can be uh, the processes uh, that can be carried out as an internally reversible process. Right? So, uh, th that is why we have uh, defined this, this, uh, this uh, concept called an internally reversible process. There is nothing but uh, an irreversible process in which the reversibilities are outside the boundaries of the system. And so, we can then plot it on a 2D graph, show it on a um, property diagram and so on. Right? So, that is what we do.